Sue came as an oncologist back in the days where we really had no real commercial oncology business. Sue's biggest achievement was her contribution to Genentech becoming number one in oncology. She'd repeatedly say how difficult it was to be an oncologist and, and sit in front of a patient and say, now there's nothing I can do for you. And I, I think Sue always felt that a measure of her success inside um, the biotech industry in Genentech would be to create new molecules that meant that future Sue's didn't have to say that. Her caring for patients comes through in every decision that she makes, every discussion that she's part of. And I found myself promoting her every six or nine months. Uh, she went from that oncology position to leadership of the medical affairs department to uh, very quickly becoming president of the corporation with broad oversight for the entire product development portfolio. She really helped us not to take the wrong products forward and really allowed us to focus on the products that were ultimately going to make a difference to patients' lives. The decisions uh, that were made uh, around, for example, how Avastin was developed and what tumor types we chose and, and what lines of therapy and what drugs uh, Avastin uh, was combined with, um, Sue was an instrumental uh, player in those decisions. And yet, the first clinical trial that we conducted was a failure. And I think many people might have decided that was the end of the road. And, and Sue thought that there was, there was information in that so-called failed study, uh, which meant we should go forward. And it was under her leadership that we secured FDA approval for most of the important drugs um, that we now have. I think Sue's arrival at UCSF is a gift. Having somebody in that position that has the industry experience um, combined with her academic background is, is, is really a, a wonderful fit for UCSF and I really commend the, the leaders of UCSF for picking an individual like Sue.